Hello, welcome to Reforce Studio, and today we're going to do a video on painting scratches. Now anyone that sat through the last video will see that we did some nice sponge chipping, just to give us a base for what we're about to do now. And the idea here is we're going to paint some three-dimensional looking scratches on this door, just to marry in with all the weathering that we've done so far, before we do our streaking, which is going to make use of those scratches. So going straight away with our Vallejo Ice Yellow. It's going to paint very, very fine lines underneath some of these chips that we sponged on, just to create a nice three-dimensional effect there. We're looking for some depth to show that there's an indentation. I'm going to do a few of these just to, just to labour the point a little bit. The important thing when doing this technique is to ensure that the light colour you're painting has a, a low highlight uh, extends past the range uh, of the original darker coloured chip. And you'll see this more with the scratches once I start painting them, but to really sell that effect, the highlight underneath needs to be longer. Okay, so I'm going to move on to these scratches now. I'm going to go back to the Rhinox Hide for this, just to paint our deep scratches in. And again, I'm looking for thin, thin lines or sweeps. It's important to try and make these sort of different lengths and where possible different directions or natural directions as well. Um, I'm doing a little bit of uh, just tap tapping there to show the scratches. Now we use the same technique again. I'm not sure why my camera focus has gone strange, so apologies for that. Uh, we use the same yellow there, just to highlight the bottom of those scratches. I'm going to switch around actually, it's quite difficult to do this with the camera in the way, so uh, just bear with me here. So I'm going to go underneath, yeah, it's a bit easier doing it this way around. Hopefully you'll see that effect coming together in a second when I flip it back around. You can use different colours for this, you can do uh, a separate, a lighter brown inside that scratch to create even more of a 3D effect, but, um, and that's fine if you're doing, you know, showpiece armies or golden demon interest and stuff that's great but for just for gaming armies i think this is probably about the level we need to go not really much further this sells a good effect and it's not too difficult to do so i'm going to take that last scratch down there see the treaded autofocus is uh, causing me some drama Okay, hopefully you can see that effect taking shape now. And you can of course use metallics too for this, um, be it uh, Runefang steel, Iron Warriors, lead belts or anything like that. Um, again, you can use a metallic scratch and then highlight the edge of that. Or I tend to use them just as a just like I've done there, just a single scratch. Just showing a metal. It's a fresh chip if you like, it's gone right through to the metal. Um, I will put a little bit of yellow on it actually, so we're just gonna flip that around and add a little touch of yellow. Maybe want to use a darker metallic to really sell that. Ah, that's not too bad, that works. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. Share with the world. Um, I just want to show that these things are not too difficult to do. Um, the next video I'm going to come back and do will be on oils and streaking. So we're going to show you how to do, um, how to streak some rusty water from these, uh, these chips and that sort of thing. So uh, thanks again and see you next time.